In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take your 2D logos and convert them into 3D logos right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So once you're inside of Adobe Photoshop, we want to begin by creating a brand new canvas. And we're gonna begin by renaming this canvas to 2D to 3D, and we'll make sure the width and the height is 1920 by 1080 pixels. And once these settings are all in check, we want to go ahead and press OK. And then we'll go to the finder and we'll drag our logo or drag any sort of item into the canvas. Now we'll just center that up and we'll just remove the background for now. And then you want to select that layer that you just dragged into Photoshop. You want to right click and then you want to go down to new 3D extrusion from selected layer. And as you will see, you'll get this warning message. You're about to create a 3D layer. Would you like to switch to the 3D workspace? Press yes. And the computer will take a few seconds to convert that 2D into a 3D object. And of course, if we pull on these arrows, we can move this 3D object across the X, Y, and Z axis. Now, of course, we can also rotate this, but if we select this layer and we go up into properties, you can see if we go to shape preset, we can change the shape of the text. So as you can see by selecting all of these, it's applying a different bevel to the edge of all of these 3D text layers. So select a look that works for yourself. Once you've found a look that you're happy with, we can move on to the next part of this process. Now, if we go into the BF logo, that's the 3D text layer, we can adjust all of these separate layers. So we've got the front inflation material, we've got the front bevel, we've got the extrusion material, black bevel material, and back inflation material. And these are basically all the different parts of the text that you can adjust. So if we go through each individual setting and change the color of this, as you can see, different parts of the text is going to be changed. So by changing the BF extrusion material, to a nice blue color. We can see the color inside of the text is changing from white to blue. And of course we can change the colors of the diffusion, the specular, illumination, and the ambient light. So once you've adjusted all of those different layers inside of Photoshop and you've changed the color of the text, we can go up to the light that is currently at the top of Photoshop. We'll select this circle and we'll just move this around from left to right. And as you'll see, when we move this, this is basically our light source. Treat this as the sun. So if we move this over to the right, then shadows will be cast to the left. If we move this over to the left, shadows will be cast on the right. Now, once you're happy with the look of the text, you've changed the transform, the scale, you've moved the position around, you've added some color, you've changed the position of the light. If we go over to the layers tab on the right of Photoshop, as you'll see, we'll come out of the 3D window and we're back into a 2D workspace. So of course we can go ahead and add a 2D layer underneath the 3D layer. So we'll go up to a layer, new, layer, press OK on this menu, we'll go to the paint bucket tool, make sure that you've selected a color, so I'm going to select black, and we'll just fill in that layer to create a black background. Now we'll drag this all the way down to the lower third of Photoshop, and we'll go ahead and create a brand new layer, so we'll go up into layer, new layer, we'll change the color of this to a nice dark grey, go to the paint bucket tool again, We'll fill in this layer and then we'll drag this layer up. In fact, let me swap that around. We'll put the black on the top half of Photoshop and then we'll put the dark gray on the lower half. Now you want to drag the dark gray solid up to around halfway up the canvas. You want to go to the eraser tool, pull the softness all the way down and then you just want to draw a line across the center of that layer. So as you can see, that's perfectly going to blend the black and the dark gray together which will create a nice fall off. And there you go, that's the basics of converting a 2D layer to a 3D layer inside of Adobe Photoshop. You can go through all of the different layers inside the text layer and you can adjust the color, you can adjust the texture, you can adjust the light in the sky so you can change the direction of the shadow and of course you can add 2D layers behind your 3D text layer. And there you go, that's the basics of how you convert a 2D layer to a 3D layer inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching that video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more content from this channel. See you next time.